So I just pulled up to my cousin's shop. I need to get new airlines and uh, electrical cable. What's up, cuz? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Cuz, how you doing, man? Doing good. My cousin's here to pick up a three-in-one cable, a trailer and tractor, which comes with the emergency line, service line, and electric line. So I'm gonna go show them what we got. Come on down. I got this one here for you. That's a what, 12 footer? It's a 12 footer right here. As you can see, okay. it comes with these glad hand extensions. So you can tighten it easier. It won't mess up the glad hand. It comes with this roll that goes around the, around the airline. So we'll keep it nice and firm together. Cool, cool. All right, so let's, I got the truck outside. Let's go ahead and put these on and see, see how good they are. Guys, this is what we bought. All right, so these are the ends that go on the truck. I just gotta take these fittings off real quick. Here's that fittings that came off of the, the new hoses. And this is what's gonna go on the truck. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so before I do anything, I just have to remove some of this plastic that's wrapping these lines around. And that's because my electric connector is all the way down here and the two airlines are once midway and once all the way up here. I'll connect my light connector first. Wow. So here's my, my electric connector, got that put on already. And now I will do the airlines. My service airline, it's the first one right here. And my emergency one is the one back here. Now my cousin's shop is open from Monday to Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. But I will, I will confirm that right now. I do know he opens every single day, seven days a week. Um, Monday through Friday, we're open from uh, 8.30 to 7. 7.30, depends on how everything is, um, the weather. Um, Saturday, we're open from 8 to 7. And Sunday, we're open from 9 to 3. So, if y'all need parts, you know. Come on by, you know my hours of operation. All right guys, so I just finished putting the second line here. Uh, I can add like a, a little zip tie or something here and hold them like that. So this one doesn't touch the, the sleeper. And this here, I could just cut that piece. But now I will go ahead and put this hanger up there all right so I'm gonna hook up my spring right here here's my line right here would be perfect
You don't have to go super tight. So this should do it right here. So for my preference, this spring is hanging a little too low. I will add another spring and see if that helps. And if not, I'll just have to find a smaller one, a shorter one, probably halfway and add that one to it. As a matter of fact, let's ask my cousin if he has some. Hey, um, I need a spring half this size. That's too long. Huh? Yeah. So let me see what I got, man. Yeah, because that thing is hanging too low. I don't like it when it hangs well, that low. The only ones that I have are going to be longer than that. Longer than that? Yeah. So, for example, this is what is used for that. Ooh. But that spring yeah, no, it's not probably work. the same size. So you're going to have to. Damn. You have wheels too? Yep, all the kinds of wheels. Badass. So check it out guys. This is how low it is with one spring. And it actually helps if I add two springs to it. You see how I brought it up a couple inches? So I think I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. So check it out. I can take these glare hands off and put them on that. On those hoses. But man, you know what? Let me support let me support my cousin real quick. Give me two new glad hands, red and the blue. Two? Yes, sir. That's it? One and two. And there they are. What's the price on these? So they can know. Six. Six dollars. Even. No taxes. No, no taxes. Okay, cool. Yep, let's put these on the truck. Right. So here's the new glad hands. Yeah, it already comes with that uh, threaded uh, sealant, so you don't have to add nothing to it. Here's the blue one. And um, not sure if you guys saw that the video when they did the panel hitch on my dump truck but my cousin has he rents uh, places here to guys there's a tire shop right there there's like three or four welding shops down there right correct so if you ever need any welding done fabricating or want to turn the truck into a dump truck they can do it too right yes sir everything connected and we should be good to go with this now put the clad hands on put a zip tie right here So which ones are the ones my truck needs? Okay, you're looking for the front ones, right? Yeah. As you can see right here, it says front pointed. So is that what you want, the pointed ones? Yeah. Let's get one of these so right here. It could, that way it could look like my, my uh, lug nut caps. Correct. Come on, let's try them out. These are $7 each. Should I show them the forces real quick? You gotta polish them, but check it out. So these, we got these things right here. These are the ones that you put on these in order for it to hook on right. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and try it on without it. Damn. 
completely different. That looks badass. So there's the other one for the other side. That looks pretty freaking cool, man. So what's the clips for? This is just temporary. But right now, so we gotta put the clips You're on. You're gonna right take now? it out and put the clips on there, yeah. Okay. These pins, they go right here where the hole is. And that's what keeps the the cap from coming off, right? You gotta make sure they locks on there too. We'll find out when I get to my yard. We'll see if they don't fly out. Last time I was behind a Peterbilt dude and both of them came off. Really? Yeah, on a bump. On a pothole. Damn, let's see. 